this is a story about a power couple in computational modeling. The name of the guy is Fear and the name of the lady is Femme. There is often a great confusion about the nature of their relationship. In fact, people are asking that question saying, who are they? And why are we even obsessing about this relationship that they have? Are they even in love? Can they be separated in the future? These are some of the questions I want to address in this video. Let's sit back and relax as we get into the story. As the story begins, I want to take you to a city called Computational Modeling. It's such an elegant city and within the city, there are different types of families. And the family that we're focusing on today in our story is the family of Fear and Femme. I want to introduce these two couples to you. The first person in the relationship is the one that is called Femme. Her full name is Finite Element Modeling, but we like to call her by her alliance, which is Femme. And in the remainder of this story, I'll be describing her as Femme. In fact, her profession is that she's a mathematician because she's obsessed with theories and ideologies and principles and how to use them to come up with equations that will help make life easy for people. And if you look at her attitude, she's very, very meticulous. She likes to pay attention to details. Her skill set is that she's analytically sound and always like to build things from first principles. She likes to come up with ideas, with theorems and formulate them into first principles and then ultimately come up with a set of equations that can help people solve problems. Of course, you will not be surprised to hear that her background, her training, that she's indeed a mathematician. And so she has specializations in areas of partial differential equations where she used principles of partial differential equations to solve problems and especially boundary value problems these are the kind of things that she really likes to work on in her pastime and i want to talk about what i like to describe as her neediness index and this neediness index is a measure of how much dependence or independence he or she has in carrying out the work that they are given. And her neediness index is that she is actually quite independent. She does not really need anyone. She does not need anybody to help leverage what she's trying to do. She likes to work quite independently. In fact, most of the time when you're looking at fame walking, she just has a piece of paper and a pencil and then she just keeps on coming with ideas and theorems and formulations and writing them up in mathematical ideas that would then help people with whatever work that they are trying to do. So that is fame in this relationship. So now we are aware of who fame is. Let's think about the next partner in this relationship and that is a full name called Finite Element Applications. And the alias for this young man is Fear. His profession is that he's an engineer. And that means he's always looking to solve practical problems and working on formulations on products to try and create solutions that can help people with making life easier for themselves. Of course, let's think about his attitude. He's desperate to solve problems at all costs. Whatever he takes, he likes to solve problems and it's not just any kind of problems not pie in the sky kind of problem but real practical problems like building bridges like solving stress analysis equations trying to help people come up with understanding of stress concentration factors within the design so he is very practical oriented and to do this what are the skill sets that fear need to use in his work the skill set that he has are basically numerical methods which are often based on the newton rapson method and as a result what is his background? His background is that he's got a lot of experience in the area of engineering, different kind of engineering, the area of physical sciences, the area of computer sciences, and the science of numerical methods, code development, and practical application of these skills in problem solving. It's kind of like a jack of all trades, really dabbling into different kind of areas of specialization, but that is fear for you. And let's finally look at what is his neediness index. And as you would imagine with fear, he is so dependent on others to do his work. He's not a lone ranger. He never likes to stay alone. So for example, in order to solve some of the practical problems that he's interested in solving, you will often find him working with what is called FE solvers, finite element solvers. And these are applications that are created to help him do the work that he wants to do. Some of the kind of specialist applications that he likes to use when he's working at things like Abacus, like ANSYS, like LSDyner, like Comso, all these FE solvers help Fee in order to do the work that he has called to do. In fact, even beyond these 
software he also likes to work with programming languages like python c fortran and even ancillary tools you know like shell scripting you know bash scripting in order to help him do the work he has called to do so that is fear for you and has the second partner in this relationship of course that leads us to the third question that we want to worry about which is are they actually in a relationship fear and fame and in fact this is the reason why there's a confusion around the personalities of fear and fm because a lot of times people use these words fem and fea interchangeably because they're a bit confused as to who really is doing what in the relationship but the simple answer is definitely fea and fem are related they are tightly connected they are in a very strong inseparable relationship and that's who they are that's what their relationship is all about in fact when you look into that relationship what you find out is that the brain in the relationship is usually fine because she does all the thinking she does all the idealizations and coming up with concepts for the union while the doer or the handsome guy in the relationship is fear they have a really good relationship with each other and they know exactly what each person brings in into the village of computational modeling while FEM is busy building mathematical formulations to problems in her study, Mr. FEA is waiting desperately to deploy those formulations into real life solutions. There is a bit of introspection when it comes to FEM because she, a lot of times she spends it thinking and coming up with ideas for the union. And she loves to be home, working away in the study with ideas that need to be deployed. However, FEA, on the other hand, is at the front office and that's where he is sitting engaging with clients showing off amazing results from his solutions in the form of contour plots and graphical outputs that tries to portray a message to the user of what is going on with the problem he's trying to solve so it's a really lovely relationship in terms of how the two of them work together so the way i see it is that fea is the face of the relationship this is the one everyone sees this is a platform that everyone looked at that's the the, the face of the relationship however fem even though she is little known she is the real magic in the union but both of them are quite comfortable to operate exactly how they are so let's move on to the next idea is why are we obsessing about these two and the real answer is that these two couple the power couple they work seamlessly well they are always working excellently well generating excellent results for people to use they also have a strong dependence on each other you never really see them arguing you know you will always find fem doing the thinking and fea doing the handsome work they produce real results so everything you throw at them they just get get it well done so they get the job done and this is why we like them in fact as a power couple they have used their skill sets to solve several problems from the area of stress analysis, computational fluid dynamics, demo studies, acoustics, blast assessment, launching of satellite, ve satellite vehicles, and high fidelity material behavior predictions. These are the kind of things that this couple have been able to do. They've also even doubled into the area of manufacturing methods, especially in the area of 3D printing. They've been able to help their clients come up with results, simulation results in this area. So they have an ever increasing widening portfolio of projects that they've been able to achieve and this is why we certainly are excited about them we obsess about them because they are so good at what they do and indeed we cannot overlook them now we're going to think briefly about can their marriage actually last is it possible for them to fail what does the future look like with them the answer really is you can never say never because relationship these days are so difficult that this power couple might also suffer from the attacks that are affecting relationship these days there are these interfering disruptors to their union which can affect their relationship such things as spectral methods uh, another kind of operator in this field mesh free methods boundary element methods finite volume methods and even finite difference methods these are other types of operators in this field that can actually disrupt the reunion between fem and fea these disruptors are changing the sanctity of their union and at times showing even better outcomes than the slightly stale and oftentimes regarded dated fea and fem union however i must reckon that they will continue to be relevant because of the goodwill they have generated over the years and their market penetration so so many of their fans in the world continue to appreciate 
the impact of FEA and FEM in the area of computational modeling, even though these disruptors continue to be, you know, important and relevant in this area of computational modeling. If you want to learn a bit more about the relationship between FE and FM and how intertwined and interacting they are, then please do visit my textbook where I discuss a lot more about computational modeling with finite element methods and especially what the future looks like with FEM in particular. If you like this video, please do subscribe to this channel so when contents like this are made, you'll be the first to see it. Thank you for your interest in the channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.